Good evening. My name is uh, Lorenzo Rodriguez, and I'm taking a English conversation with Professor uh, Damaris Alvarez. So uh, I'm making this video, but I'm not sure if if the video was supposed to be about the first three questions or the part that says talk about your ideas that was in the book because teacher I texted you but you never reply so for that reason I'm I'm going to talk about both because I don't want to lose my points all right so there were three questions about uh, the first sport so it says do you consider Buskishi a dangerous sport and I wrote, I really think it's a dangerous, I think, I really think it's dangerous, even for the uh, spectators. Uh, because what if one of those horses goes wild and attacks somebody who's watching uh, the game and that person gets hurt? And that's one of the reasons are considered highly dangerous. Uh, and also because of the way that it's played. Uh, what do you, what do you think? of these people so i think they're going to, they're doing the right thing because they're enjoying the sport um and also i think they are like honoring their ancestors in in a way by playing this game and having fun so i think it's just fun uh, and then the last one says which sport is more dangerous in your country and why well here in the dominican I, we don't really have a variety of sports, so we only have like um, basketball, uh, baseball, uh, a little bit of soccer, and softball. So for that reason, I consider softball is dangerous because numerous people get hurt uh, playing the sport. Um, and mostly some people, uh, they lose their temper and they also um attack one another so that's why i consider it very very dangerous uh, so the next the next one says talk about your ideas and says do you agree with the following definition of a sport why and why not and it says a human activity that is competitive has a definite result requires physical activity or physical skill um yeah i agree with it because i believe that to play a sport um first of all and it's to be about competition whether there's a judge or whether the game has been decided by the points you are you're you know scoring during the game and also and it's to have a def a a definite result which is like winner or loser because you need to have one at the end of the game. And also, it requires physical activity. So, uh, if you're an athlete, like for sports such as baseball, basketball, soccer, or even gymnastics, uh, you need to have like, like physical activity. You need to, you need to exercise yourself and, and try to be in some sort of, um, shape that will allow you to, be proactive in the particular sport that you're taking in but if you're playing a sport such as such as bowling or chess or something like that where uh athleticism is not really required then i will also say that the physical skill is like it's like also a plus because you need to be able to um uh, to think to uh to use your your brain or to calculate like whether you're going to win or how you're going to win so for that reason i strongly agree uh with this definition and i think it's right so thank you thank you so much for watching my video and i'm so sorry if i got along but i was just confused i don't know if it was the first one at the top or this one at the bottom so thank you <laughs>